Hey guys, welcome back to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. Here are the trending stories for today. Nigerian COVID-19 cases surpasses 20,000. Nigeria High Commission in Ghana attacked by unknown men. Three tankers explode on Kara Bridge in Ogun State. The details in just a little bit. Nigeria on Sunday night recorded 436 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of infections in the country to 20,244. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, announced this through its official Twitter handle. NCDC said that the 436 new confirmed cases were from 19 states. The NCDC also said Lagos reported the highest number of cases with 169 new cases and Oyo was second with 52 new infections. Amongst others were Plato with 31, Imo with 29, Kaduna with 28, Ogun 23, FCT 18, Enugu 18, Bauchi 17, Bayosa 14, Rivers 8, Oshun 6, Kano 6, Edo 5, Benry 5, Adamawa 3, Burano 2, Abia 1, and Ekiti 1. Meanwhile, the NCDC has said a sudden loss of taste and smell with fever, headache, or running nose might be COVID-19. It called on Nigerians not to ignore these symptoms, adding that they should call their state hotline immediately to arrange for a test. Hi, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that this pandemic in the land, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands. We should use alcohol-based sanitizer. We should maintain social distancing. We should use nose masks to be protected. Above all, guys, let's stay safe. The early morning travelers and motorists using the ever-busy Lagos Ibadan Expressway had a hard time on Sunday following explosions caused by three oil tankers on Kara Bridge, Ogu State. The Lagos State Sector Commander of the Federal Road Safety Commission, Mr. Olushagun Ogunbemide, said a body burnt to its bone was recovered from the scene, but eyewitnesses put the number of deaths at four. One of the tankers laden with fuel was said to have lost control and rammed into an articulated truck, resulting in an explosion around 12.30 a.m. Two other tankers, one loaded also with fuel and the other with gas, ran into flame, causing another round of explosions. As of 3.30 p.m. on Sunday, gridlock on the highway had yet to ease in spite of the travel advisory issued by the Federal Road Safety Corps. The Lagos FRC sector boss also said two injured persons were rushed to Bagada General Hospital, Lagos, at about 9 a.m. He said the accident had resulted from loss of control as one of the tankers had rammed into other vehicles either had brake failure or got distracted. He added that so far they've been able to move two casualties to General Hospital Bagada. One was burnt beyond recognition. The accident involved three tankers and one truck and two of the tankers were carrying petrol and another gas and one articulated truck. Meanwhile, the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, LASEMA Director General, Dr. Femi Okeo Saitolu, said the identities of the victims could be ascertained through DNA since only their bones were seen. He further says they cannot know for now the number of people who died but can see that it is only human bones they have seen so far. He says it will take pathology examination to ascertain the number of persons and identify them. May the souls of those affected rest in peace. Finally and trending today, some yet-to-be-identified armed men broke into the Nigerian High Commission in Accra, Ghana on Friday, destroying some apartments under construction. A report stated that the affected buildings were meant to house staff and visitors. According to a source at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs while speaking to journalists, he claimed that a Ghanaian businessman had accused the commission of encroaching on his land. The source also stated that a man showed up last week with some papers to support his claim and began to knock down the fence surrounding the building. He also stated that the Nigerian High Commission had petitioned the Ghanaian government about it, 
but there was no response. However, the businessman and a company of armed men returned to the property on Friday with a bulldozer and began to pull the buildings down. Officials of the commission reportedly contacted the police, but efforts were not made to prevent demolition. Reacting to the incident, the Minister of the Foreign Affairs, Godfrey Onyema, in a series of tweets condemned the action and urged the Ghanaian government to expedite actions in finding the perpetrators and provide adequate protection for Nigerians and their property in Ghana. In a series of tweets, the Honorable Minister wrote, We strongly condemn two outrageous criminal attacks in Accra, Ghana, on the residential building in our diplomatic premises by unknown persons in which a bulldozer was used to demolish the building. We are engaging with the Ghanaian government and demand urgent action to find the perpetrators and provide adequate protection for Nigerians and their property in Ghana. Hashtag stay home, save lives, hashtag COVID-19 at DGcomsNG at Ghana MFA. Well, we're definitely looking out for how Ghana is going to respond to this and what Nigeria will do next as so many Nigerians on social media have reacted to the issue and some have tagged it an act of war. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, guys, those are the stories we have for you right now. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola by Most TV. See you soon.